Uh, here we are considering uh, a set of uh, four uh, problems on uh, two port networks. The two problems are impedance uh, uh, matrices are impedance parameters are open parameters and uh, one problem is on ABCD parameters and uh, one problem is Y and H uh, parameters. So we start with the first problem in this set uh, that is the uh, problem is of uh, gate uh, 1990 uh, this is a problem here uh, this problem is of uh, gate 1990 if it's, uh, it's of two marks and uh, on two port networks and this problem is basically on the impedance uh, uh, matrix or impedance parameters. We will read out the problem. The open circuit impedance matrix of the two port network shown in figure is uh, this is the network shown here and the impedance matrices uh, four options are given here and this network is the two port network. This is port 1 and this is port 2 and uh, uh, corresponding circuit arrangements are as shown here. So this is the problem and we have to find the right uh, impedance matrix uh, for this problem. Uh, this black text gives me the uh, problem part and the uh, solution part is uh, in the uh, red color text. Okay, so now we start with the solution to this problem. Uh, the problem says about open circuit impedance matrix uh, we have to find for this network. Uh, then uh, for a two port network general uh, uh, impedance matrix are governing relations uh, for these uh, matrices uh, can be written as uh, like uh, here V1 and V2 these are the voltages at uh, port 1 and port 2 I1 and I2 are the currents uh, at ports 1 and 2 then the governing uh, equations are V1 equals to Z11 I1 plus Z12 I2 and V2 is equal Z2 to I1 plus uh, Z22 uh, Z11 I1 Z21 Z21 I1 and this Z22 I2 here uh, the defining uh, equations for each parameter are like if you want to find Z11, Z1 would, would, be, would be given by V1 over I1 when I2 is 0. You can see this equation and you can simplify it and see Z11 is going to be V1 over I1 when I2 is 0 and Z12 would be V1 over I2 when I1 is 0. Similarly, you can find the parameters Z22 and uh, Z21. Uh, for I1 and I2 is equal to 0. So, what we notice here, uh, we will try to find uh, the parameters like uh, Z11 and Z21 in uh, uh, first arrangement when I2 is 0, we consider I2 to be 0, we will be able to get Z11 and Z22 parameters and next we will find Z12 and Z22 parameters when I1 is taken as 0. Okay, so we start with the problem uh, with the parameter I2 equals to 0. So this is the corresponding equivalent when uh, I2 is 0 in this network. Okay, so as per our defining equation, Z11 is V1 over I1 when I2 is 0, and Z21 is V2 over I1 when I2 is 0. Okay, so uh, we start with uh, uh, the first one here that uh, we will like to find the equation for V1. You can see here V1, this voltage we want to find V1. V1 would be uh, the voltage that is current into the resistance and the current we notice here when I2 is 0, this is 3I1 flowing through a current source and say the full current will come over here flowing in this direction, upward direction that is 3I1 and I1 is the current flowing uh, at port 1 into this network that is happened. So, the resultant current which will be flowing up uh, would be 2 I 1. So, this is I 1 minus 3 I 1 into 1. This is a 1. So, this is the voltage here because 1 is the resistance 
So, this comes out to be I 1 minus 3 I 1. So, actually the voltage would be having a polarity since the current is going from bottom to up. So, this end would be positive, this would be negative. So, the polarity of the voltage V 1 would be minus 2 I 1. So, we can find Z 1 is V 1 over I 1 that is minus 2 I 1 over I 1. So, it is minus 2 ohms. Okay. Now, uh, we have to find the other parameter. So, we take uh, here again the same I 2 is 0 and we find the uh, uh, KCL at node 2, KCL node 2 that means this I 2 is 0 current would be flowing through this and this network although I 2 is 0. So, we will replace that V 2 minus V 1, V 2 minus V 1 over 2 ohms will be the current flowing into this network and this is 3 I 1 is flowing down and this is equal to 0 since I 2 is 0. So, V 2 minus V 1 plus 6 I 1 if you simplify and again uh, we substitute the value for V 1 here. So, V 2 minus uh, uh, minus minus 2 I 1 plus 6 I 1 equals 0. So, V 2 plus 8 I 1 equals 0 of V 2 over I 1 comes to Z 2 1 is equal to minus 8 ohms. So, so very straightforward and simple you can find this will be minus 8 ohms. Okay. Now, uh, we see further uh, this uh, uh, for the second part to find the other inferences uh, we have to assume that I 1 to be 0 this I 1 is 0 here uh, when I 1 is 0 uh, we can write uh, the corresponding uh, KCL at node 2 here uh, this this would be V 2 minus V 1 divided by 2 ohms plus 3 I 1 is the current and that current should be equal to I 2. That means, this I 2 current should be equal to this current plus this current. Okay, So, this is coming V 2 minus V 1 over 2 uh, plus 3 I 1 that is I 2 V 2 minus V 1 plus 6 I 1 equals 2 I 2. I 2. We know that I 1 is 0. So, if you substitute here I 1 is 0 this term would be uh, will be going out. So, this would be V 2 minus V 1 equals to 2 I 2. So, this V 2 equals to 2 I 2 plus V 1 2 I 2 plus I 2 uh, V 1 is uh, is I 2 because V 1 here the entire current I 2 will not go into current source it will come to this branch since I 1 is there it will not go further it will all current will come to this branch I 2 will be coming here I 2 into 1 will be V 1 will be I 2 into 1. Okay, So, that means that is I 2. So, you can substitute 2 I 2 plus I 2 3 I 2. So, Z 2 2 would be V 2 over I 2 that is 3 and also Z 1 2 would be V 1 over I 2 that is okay. that is 1. So, we are able to find all the uh, four uh, uh, impedances for the matrix and uh, if you see it uh, the option 1 uh, this is the option 1 here that is minus 2 1 minus 8 1. So, this is z 1 1 z 1 2 z 2 1 z 2 2 these are the corresponding parameters and this is the corresponding open circuit impedance matrix for this network. So, this is option A is the uh, this is the right choice uh, for this problem. Okay, thank you.